Hello everyone, and let's check out the 15th memorable chess game of Bobby Fischer. And the title for this game is a whooper. And Bobby Fischer is playing with the black pieces, and his opponent is Vasily Simislov, who was a very strong and one of the most important players in the 20th century. Well, who was Vasily Simislov? He was the seventh world chess champion. He defeated Mikhail Botvinnik in 1957, and he became the world chess champion. But unfortunately, his reign was not very long. Botvinnik regained the title one year later after defeating Simislov in 1958. And Simislov was also a very important candidate player for the World Chess Championship in eight occasions in the years of 1948, 1950, 1953, 56, 59, 65, and finally he competed in the candidates in 1983. So anyway, Simislov was a strong player, especially for a 16 years old teenager. So at this time, Bobby Fischer was only 16 years old. So this game was played in 1959. And as you know, Simislov has the white pieces. And Simislov starts the game with playing e4, c5 by Bobby Fischer, the Sicilian defense, knight to f3, d6, d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6, knight to c3, a6, the neither of variation of the Sicilian defense, one of the most favorite openings by Bobby Fischer. Fischer used this opening a lot in his chess games. So after a6, we have bishop to g5, e6, f4, bishop to e7, queen to f3, queen to c7, and Vasily Simislov castled in the queen side. Knight from b to d7, g4, b5, by Bobby Fischer. The plan is very simple. Black wants to attack in the queen side, and also white wants to attack in the king side. The real question is, which player is going to be faster? And open some files, and checkmate the king. Well, Bobby Fischer still haven't castled. Bishop takes knight, knight takes on f6, and g5 by Simislov, knight to d7, bishop to h3, and b4 by Bobby Fischer, attacking the knight, knight from c to e2, bishop to b7, king to b1, knight to c5. The pressure is on e4, knight to g3, defending on e4 with the knight, but d5 by Bobby Fischer, a very good move. Well, Simislov played f5. If e takes on d5, well, that would be a ridiculous move. Then bishop takes on d5, queen to e3, and bishop takes on h1, winning the exchange, and black is better. So after knight to g3, we have d5 by Bobby Fischer, f5, and d takes on e4, queen to g4, e takes on f5, and knight from d takes on f5. Attacking on g7, Fischer played g6, attacking the knight, and then Simislov captured the bishop with the knight. Queen takes on e7, so Fischer doesn't want to lose the castling rights, and he captured with the queen. Queen to f4, and Bobby Fischer castled. Rook to d6, rook from a to d8, not exchanging the rooks, rook to f6, rook to d5, bishop to g4. Knight to d7, attacking the rook. Well, Simislov welcomed Fischer, and he played rook to f1. He says, you're welcome to capture my rook. Go ahead. Well, Bobby Fischer didn't capture the rook, and he played e3 by Bobby Fischer. Well, if knight takes on f6, then g takes on f6, attacking the queen. Queen to e5, let's say. One of the most logical moves, then queen to h6. Well, you can only defend the checkmate threat with sacrificing your queen. And white is winning. This is losing for black. So this is why Simislov played rook to f1, but the threat is very obvious. So we have e3 by Bobby Fischer. b3, rook to d2, 
infiltrating on the second rank. Bishop takes knight, rook takes on d7, rook to e1, rook to e8, h4, queen to c5, queen to c4, and exchanging the queens. And white has the weak pawn on c4, so Fisher played rook to d4, immediately attacking the pawn, and also attacking the pawn on h4, c5, but rook takes on h4 by Bobby Fischer. c6, bishop to c8, rook to d6, rook to c4, king to b2, king to g7, king to b3, attacking the rook, rook to g4, knight to e2, rook to e6, rook from e to d1, doubling the rooks, rook to g2, attacking the knight, knight to f4, forking the rooks, and what else? Bobby Fischer captured the rook on d6. Rook takes on d6 and rook to d2. Another very beautiful move by child Bobby Fischer. Well, Swisslo played rook to d3, not capturing the rook. If rook takes rook, then e takes on d2. And the pawn can't be stopped. Black is promoting a queen. So let's say knight to d3 and d-pawn promoted to a queen. Black is winning. White needs to resign. So rook to d3 by Simislov and Fischer played rook to f2. Rook to d4 defending the knight. e2. Only one move left for Fischer to promote a queen. How to defend the pawn? So white played knight to d3 hoping to defend the pawn. But Bobby Fischer played bishop to f5. Attacking the defender, the only defender on e1, c7 by Simislov. Also, Simislov has one move left for promoting a queen. Rook to f3, pinning the knight, and threatening to push the pawn and promoting a queen. White promotes a queen. Fischer captured the queen with the bishop. And then rook to e4, defending with the rook. Bishop to f5 by Fischer, attacking the rook. Rook takes on e2, and bishop takes on d3, c takes on d3, rook takes on d3, check. King takes on b4, rook to d5, cutting the connection of the king. Rook to g2, defending the pawn, h6, g takes on h6, king takes pawn, a4, g5, rook to c2, rook to d6, king to c5, a meaningless move. Well, Bobby Fischer played rook to e6. Well, in this position, black has two extra pawns. And Simislov resigned in this position because there is no defense and there is no logical continuation for white. Black has two extra passed pawns. And white can't defend. Eventually, this is going to be a slow death for white. White is losing. So Vasily Simislov the experienced and the previous world chess champion, the seventh world chess champion, resigned against Bobby Fischer, against the 16 years old kid. It was a huge victory for Bobby Fischer. It was probably one of the most glorious moments in the career of Bobby Fischer, when he was only a kid. Anyway, so there is no need to go further. I think this is enough. I think the result is very obvious. So this is why White resigned at move 54 in 1959, another glorious chess game by Bobby Fischer, a very beautiful chess game. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye bye.